Imagine you have a magic box that can create anything you desire. You can ask it for an apple and an apple will appear, ask for a fruit and a fruit will appear, and even ask for a unicorn and a unicorn will appear. The strangest thing is that the box does not decide what to create until you open it and look inside. Before you look, the box can create anything you could wish for. Only when you open it does it pick one thing and become precisely that apple, that fruit, or that unicorn. That all these possibilities exist simultaneously in the box resembles the behavior of particles in quantum mechanics before they are observed. Until measured, they may exist in a superposed state of many possibilities, and when observed, they collapse into a single state. One interpretation of this phenomenon is the Copenhagen interpretation, which suggests that observation forces a particle into a definite state. This process is called the collapse of the wave function. The act of measurement interacts with the particle, so it cannot remain in superposition, but instead assumes a specific state. In our story, opening the box and peeking inside is like observing the particle. The ancient Greeks thought the fundamental elements might be air, fire, or water. A revolutionary idea then, an attempt to explain nature's diversity with a limited set of basic substances. A century ago, physicists believed atoms were the fundamental units. Experiments by Max Planck, Albert Einstein, Niels Bohr, and others showed that atoms themselves are composed of yet smaller particles that exhibit strange behaviors inexplicable by classical physics. Modern physics tells us the building blocks of the universe are subatomic particles such as electrons, quarks, and neutrinos. These particles are regarded as the basic constituents of matter, and all the matter we see is made of various combinations of them. But the story does not end there. Quantum theory reveals that the deepest constituents of the cosmos extend beyond mere particles and reach into the very structure of space and time. In this view, the universe is not merely particles moving through space, but a dynamic web of fields woven into the fabric of space-time. These fields, described by quantum field theory, are the true essence of what constitutes reality, and particles appear as excitations of those underlying fields. Today, we believe the deepest layer of reality consists of elementary particles governed by quantum theory. This invisible, tiny reality is the bedrock of everything we observe and often seems wondrously strange. Let's start with what we know. Visible matter consists of atoms with protons and neutrons in their centers. But according to the standard model of particle physics, those protons and neutrons are not the smallest pieces. There are still smaller constituents. Remarkably, much of the universe can be reduced to atoms. An atom is the smallest unit of matter that retains the properties of the larger visible world, its physical and chemical characteristics. An atom is essentially a quantum entity with its own energy levels, properties, and conservation laws. It interacts in many ways with all four known fundamental forces. Almost all physics can be seen within a single atom. On Earth, there are about 90 naturally occurring elements produced by cosmic processes. Each element's atom has a nucleus of protons and possibly neutrons, surrounded by electrons equal in number to the protons. Each element has unique properties, hardness, color, melting and boiling points, density, conductivity, electronegativity, ionization energy, and more. Remarkably, only one property determines what element it is the number of protons in the nucleus. In everyday life, we take certain rules for granted, such as cause and effect. One event leads to another, depending on what happened before. Different causes lead to different effects. In quantum physics, the usual rules are fundamentally different. One cannot even define a precise starting point to arbitrary accuracy because some properties of a system are inherently uncertain. There is no deterministic, predictably exact way to describe the time evolution of a quantum system. One can only compute a set of probabilities. If you perform a sufficiently precise measurement, observation, or interaction, you will see a single outcome. But the act of measurement itself changes the state of the system. This behavior has been debated for nearly a century. Some solutions are so troubling that they propose not interpreting the theory at all, which is equally mysterious. Interpretations may be what prevents us from truly understanding quantum reality. Quantum theory is an extraordinarily successful description of the microscopic world of atoms and their constituents. 
yet it also reveals deep contradictions with intuition. For example, that a particle can exist in a superposition of states in which it is many things at once. In 1935, Erwin Schrödinger devised his famous thought experiment to illustrate the consequences of quantum theory. Imagine a cat enclosed in a box with a vial of poison. The radioactive decay of an atom could trigger a mechanism that breaks the vial and kills the cat. If the atom is in a superposition of decay and non-decay, the cat would be simultaneously dead and alive. The only way to find out would be to open the box. This thought experiment transfers quantum strangeness from the micro world to everyday life and forces scientists to confront it. Physicists call such macroscopic superpositions, those involving many atoms or other quantum entities, Schrodinger cat states. Over recent decades, these cats have helped scientists probe the transition between the quantum and classical worlds and explain why we do not see everyday objects in two states at once, and whether we ever could. The idea that a theoretical quantum creature might be both alive and dead is a classic example of quantum oddity. Questions such as how or why quantum physics works, or what the mathematical objects in the theory actually represent, have as many answers as there are perspectives. Those answers often tell us more about our biases, preferences, and assumptions about the universe than about the universe itself. Only a few things can be directly observed in nature. Particle properties, position, momentum, scattering amplitudes, and individual quantum states. The question of the fundamental nature of reality assumes it follows rules aligned with our intuition, but perhaps the opposite is true. Our perception of reality is limited by our senses and capabilities, and the true rules governing the universe might be stranger than we can imagine. We speak of particles occupying points in space, but in reality they are energy impulses or excitations in fundamental quantum fields. For example, the photon is an excitation of the electromagnetic field. These fields permeate the entire universe, which means residual vibrations, so-called virtual particles, exist everywhere popping into and out of existence even when there is insufficient energy to create real particles. Fields are considered more fundamental because without them, the mathematics does not work. But the quantum nature of a field means it cannot be observed directly. Every observation requires energy that forces the field to produce a particle, which is why we often talk about particles. They are what we can observe. Almost every particle has a corresponding antiparticle of the same mass but opposite charge. Antimatter is rare in the visible universe and mainly appears in particle collisions. The universe consists predominantly of matter and no one knows why. The quantum world operates by rules that defy common sense. A particle may behave like a wave under certain conditions, and even the notion of a particle becomes fuzzy upon closer inspection. Trying to pin down a particle's position obscures its momentum, and recording its momentum obscures its position. This is Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, which says such properties are inherently imprecise. The most surprising aspect of quantum physics is the minimal set of properties needed to define a particle. Mass, charge, and momentum, or spin. Armed with these, a mathematical wave function can fully describe a particle and predict probabilities for its behavior. This idea is tightly linked to wave-particle duality and superposition. Particles exist in a spectrum of wave states until observed. At that moment, their wave function collapses and they adopt a definite state. But the question of who or what is required to cause that collapse remains unanswered. Are detectors sufficient or does human consciousness play a role? Quantum physicists have proposed various interpretations from the necessity of human awareness to the notion that wave function collapse is illusory and all possible states exist in parallel in many worlds. There is no single definitive answer. What we know today about the universe was learned by asking the right questions, building physical systems, and performing the measurements and observations necessary to determine how the universe behaves, regardless of our prior intuitions. The universe has shown us rules that are strange but consistent. These rules are deeply and fundamentally different from anything we have ever experienced. Reality, if one may call it that, is not an objective existence independent of observation. Instead, what we can measure or observe is what physics concerns itself with. Our highest aim is to describe the observable as precisely and completely as possible.
by constructing theories in which quantum operators act on wave functions to compute exact probability distributions of possible outcomes, we satisfy most physicists. Yet onto these equations, one may layer assumptions and obtain different interpretations of quantum mechanics. Is the wave function meaningless until measurement? Do all possible results exist, requiring infinitely many parallel universes? Should we imagine reality as an infinite number of identically prepared systems, with measurement selecting the one that represents our reality? Do particles always have real, definite positions guided non-locally by pilot waves? Different interpretations rest on different assumptions about properties. Despite their differences, no experiment has been able to distinguish these interpretations from one another, though some, such as those invoking local, real, a deterministic hidden variables have been ruled out. Frustratingly, all these interpretations are experimentally indistinguishable so far. We have not yet designed any experiment that cleanly separates one interpretation from another, and therefore they are physically equivalent. The idea of a fundamental, objective reality independent of the observer is an assumption without definitive proof, rooted only in millennia of intuition. Science does not aim to confirm our prejudices, but to discover the nature of reality regardless of them. To understand quantum mechanics, we should abandon prejudice and accept what the universe tells us. Entangled photons emitted in opposite directions to separate observers show random outcomes, yet correlations. Whether those correlations accord with local realism depends on whether they violate Bell inequalities. Understanding the universe is not about unveiling a true reality apart from observers' measurements and interactions. Reality might be tied at a fundamental level to measurement, observation, and interaction. To better understand the universe, we need experimental tests that can discriminate between interpretations. So far, only interpretations requiring local realism have been excluded. Choosing between interpretations is often a matter of aesthetics. Experimental measurements of polarization correlations agree with the theoretical predictions of quantum mechanics, indicating that local realistic correlations cannot explain the observed precision. One cannot declare what reality is and then adjust observations to fit it. Theories and models that predict observations accurately, with high predictive power and minimal assumptions, endure. Physics does not care that reality seems puzzling. The problem arises when we demand more from the universe than it offers. Nature is strange and wonderful. And until we design experiments that teach us more, it is better to accept reality as we can measure it than to impose additional structures based on our prejudices. Until the crucial experiment is performed, we remain philosophical rather than empirically decisive. Meanwhile, quantum mechanics remains the most accurate and powerful theory of reality, predicting countless experiments and giving rise to numerous applications. Yet physicists and philosophers remain divided over its interpretation. Many physicists, perhaps most, adhere pragmatically to the Copenhagen view, focusing on calculations rather than attempting to unpack the deep meaning of quantum mechanics. Philosopher Tim Maudlin criticizes this approach and points to various interpretations that offer detailed accounts of how the world might function. Other scientists, analyzing those interpretations, deepen their skepticism when they seem contrived or implausible. Some study information, theoretic interpretations of quantum mechanics, which some find attractive, while others find them less plausible because they introduce information into physics and thereby undermine objectivity. The debate over consciousness is also contentious. There was once a consensus that consciousness arises from neural processes, but empirical support is lacking. Consequently, multiple theories exist, including integrated information theory and proposals suggesting consciousness relies on quantum effects, though evidence for the latter is scant. The journey to understanding quantum reality goes beyond the limits of our basic perception. It is easy to succumb to relying only on what nature directly reveals to our senses. Evidence gathered from limited perception often yields only a blurred picture of the world. Judging existence without considering observations from modern physics would be like fighting an unknown foe in the dark. Deepening our understanding of the true nature of physical reality profoundly changes our perception of ourselves and our experience of the universe. Quantum physics fascinates because it defies our everyday experience. Matter can act as both wave and particle. The universe consists of indivisible quanta, 
We can predict probabilities rather than definite outcomes, and the universe can act non-locally across space and time. Its action is most evident at the smallest scales, making it one of the strangest discoveries about the universe. Yet we often insert ourselves into the equations by introducing observation, measurement, and interaction. Remove ourselves and what remains are equations, results, and the answers the universe gives. Physics cannot explain why the universe works as it does. It can only explain how it works.